These are so weird doing videos again on the channel. Um, we're going to be going through different teams. Uh, I'm going to let you guys decide the next ones. Obviously, I was always going to start with an Arsenal um, player rating prediction. But uh, a couple of disclaimers. 442 formation is just automatic. It gets given to me. I haven't got time to sit and go through everybody's formations because formations can change from game to game with some teams, and they do. So I'm not going to do anything. Like that. I'm just going to 442 it, put players in, and, and just go from there. So what you're seeing, I'm not saying that this is how Arsenal are going to line up this next season. I'm not saying that, you know, a certain player plays that or whatever. Like... I'm, I'm not trying to say that like so don't what you're seeing is just the layouts okay it's not uh, for any other purpose okay it is just it just gives me a layout okay so getting into the first one Leno 84 rated I can't see anybody disputing this I think he deserves to go up to an 86 massive part of our season this season he has made saves that have literally earned those points he has single-handedly earned us, you know, Aubameyang's been scoring the goals to earn us the points. He has been keeping them out. To, I mean, we've still conceded a lot, don't get me fucking wrong. But without Leno, I dread to think of where we'd have ended up this season. Right back, I'm going to go to first option uh, is obviously Hector Bellerin. One player who divides a lot of opinion between fans. I don't think we've seen enough from him this season. Um, obviously because of injuries and stuff to sort of judge his rating 80 rated I think just leaving with that would be fair enough it'd be harsh to take off him at the same time he hasn't really warranted an upgrade on that for me personally um, from just from the bits that he's played this season next we've got Socrates 84 rated bit generous really i think maybe he's gonna go he, he's not gonna go up from that that's for sure he's gonna go down i reckon to maybe an 82 i think anything less than that would be a little bit too harsh but i think an 82 would maybe sort of you know sort of be quite valid same situation with david louise i think give him an 82 rating uh he's a bit hit and miss he? he's he's just mr controversial he you know he's on his good days, he can be very, very good and he can show what a, what a professional he is and why he has, you know, the... I feel like everybody knows who David Louise is, you know, and it, he comes with this sort of... I can't think of the word that I'm looking for, but he just comes with this, like, personality and character about him. And, um, you know, and like I say, you can... Sometimes he lives up to the his popularity I will say um, in the football world and other times he can be the highlight for all the wrong reasons um, so yeah I reckon maybe take him down to an 82 or possibly uh, an 81 um, so we got Kieran Tierney um, 76 rated easy one for me has to, has to go up from that he has to uh, I'd be very, very surprised to see that he doesn't. I reckon, personally, I would take him up to an 80. I think if Bellerin's worth an 80, so is Tierney. Um, I mean, I don't know if EA are going to be get stricter with who they, you know, dish out his bigger rating to. But I do think he deserves that. And I think he at least deserves maybe a 78, uh, a 78 rating, going to speak at 21. We're going to go back over to the right-hand side. We're going to meet Pepe. Um, slow start to his Arsenal campaign. But towards the end, particularly in the FA Cup final, he he was brilliant. He is a really, really good player. And he's improved so much under Arteta. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing him next season. I think he's got his first se season under his belt. Got a couple of goals quite a fair few assists as well to his name now um i think he deserves to go up from an 83 i could see maybe if we stick with the 83 i think that would be okay but i think maybe put put him up to an 84 personally when you look at Urzil sitting on the bench there good old mezzo at 84 rated you think you know pepe 
at least deserves that, I would say. So we've got Danny Ceballos, great player. Um, <clears throat> I think he's going to be an Arsenal player next season, not too sure. I've used him because he's been on loan to us this season, so you know, I've, I've, I, it wouldn't feel right not including him, I don't think. 81 rating, I could see Danny going up to an 82. I think, to be honest, he'll stay with 81. I think he'll maintain that 81 rating. Um, and I'm going to say exactly the same about Granite as well. I think 81 is quite a nice, you know, it's like a good, solid little base overall rating to get in the game. I think he'll, I think he'll stick with that. We've got Gabriel Martinelli, unfortunately struck by injury. Before that injury, he was just such a breath of fresh air to watch. Really good player. 68 rating. He's got to go up into the 70s to make. He's got to go up to a 77 maybe. Um, I think would be quite a nice rating for him. Ready for FIFA 21. Um, but yeah, I think I think that would make a lot of sense. I'm now going to go to Mr. Lacazette. I think he's going to uh, decline a little bit. I think maybe an 85 or 84 rating for FIFA 21. Um, I don't think he's as bad as some of our fans sometimes make out, but I think, like I say, I can't. He's not going to improve. He's not going to go up from that 86. It's going to go down to. It'll either stay the same or it'll go to an 85, maybe down to an 84. I think anything less than that would be a little bit harsh. Stop. We've got Mr. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, another player who I want to see his rating go up. 88 rated. He might keep that, but. He's been, he's literally, as I sit and record this, he's going to be, uh, he's been listed today as, he's been announced today as our uh, player of the season. So I reckon 89, maybe a 90 rated Aubameyang for FIFA 21 would be lovely to see. Just as much as, what would be even lovelier to see, what would go even nicer with that 90 rated Aubameyang would be the Arsenal badge next to his face there. I'm hoping... I'm hoping to God we keep hold of this man. Moving to the bench and talking. Brought him up earlier when we were on about Pepe's rating. Mr. Mesut Ozil. Not seen much of him. I think it's only fair to decline him a little bit. You know, uh, probably go down to an 80 rating, I reckon. Maybe 82, possibly. Um, I mean, in fairness, I couldn't really warrant giving Ceballos and Jacker a, a, a lower rating than Ozil. In all honesty, I couldn't, I couldn't justify that. I don't mean to send for Ozil. I don't mean to give him a lot of hate, but it, it, like, it, something isn't working. Do you know what I mean? Like, I do still believe there's a bit of the old Meza in there. Whether he's right to the system, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I couldn't tell you, but I don't think he's going to keep that 84 rating at all. I just cannot see it. We've got Lucas Torreira, 82 rated. I think because of he's been so struck with injuries, it'd be harsh to take too much from him. I can't see his rating going up, but I think he could go down maybe to an 80. Don't think any lower than that. I think anything lower than 80 would just be harsh. Um, so I'm going to stick with that. Next up, we've got Mustafi, uh, 79 rated. Really improved under Arteta again. Another player who's like been all right under Arteta um 79 rated I reckon maybe just keep him with that so maybe drop him to a 77 possibly again anything lower than that is, is just a bit harsh Rob holding uh, see I think Rob deserves like a good 77 rating as well I feel like 77 is like a good good base overall rating for somebody of, of their sort of caliber do you know what I mean to start off with in FIFA 21 so that should be good um and yeah, I think he, like I said, I think he deserves that. We've got Mateo. I really, really like Mateo, you know, and I'm gutted to, to hear about everything that's gone on with him. And it doesn't look good for, you know, his future at Arsenal, does it, at all. 75 rated. Uh, I think he'll either keep that. I don't think he'll lose any rating, but I think 75, he'll stick with that. Don't think he's going to go up. One player who I do expect to see an improvement on the overall rating is this guy because I talked earlier about how good Leno has been and like when Leno went, got went injured and it went injured, well, that's great English isn't it? When Leno became injured and went off with injury, went out with injury, 
I was worried. I was very, very worried. But this guy has like literally gone. You talk about stepping up to the plate, and this guy has gone like above and beyond that for me. He's been fantastic. Uh, 75 rating does not do him any justice at all. He needs to go up to maybe a 77 again. I feel like 77 is my go-to number. 77, 78 rating possibly. I'd love to give him an 80 rated personally, but I think maybe, well, hang on, let's watch him for a full season first, you know. Um, but yeah, judging off like what we've seen of him, I reckon 80 rated, definitely. But realistically, it's going to be about maybe a 78 if it is that he does go up. I, hope, I, I don't think he'll lose rating. I don't think that I'd be fair at all. Next, we've got Ainsley Maitland Niles, 75. Probably decent enough for him again. Just want to see more from him for him to for, for us to adjust that overall rating. So I'm going to stick with a 75 with him. Helen Chambers, again, same really, 75 rated. I wouldn't be too surprised if he lost a little bit because he's just like, what's he doing? Like he's not, he's not playing. You know, it's like, it's like what's happening with Callum? What's going on? Uh, we're possibly going to see him at another club next season, maybe. Um, be interesting to see what happens. But 75 rated, it, that could go down. Like for me personally, I wouldn't be too surprised if that went down a bit. I'm going to say to maybe a 74, three possibly down to a 72 i know it sounds harsh but just what i think reese nelson um i personally really like this guy 72 rated i think keep him at that for now because again want to see a bit more from him i think if he goes into the 21 maintaining that overall rating he's done well for himself uh just want to see a bit more eddie nakatia 68 rating. I reckon pop him up to a 70. Good player. Did well out on loan. Uh, come back. Bagged a few goals for us since he's been back as well. Um, and then I think he just needs a bit of time. He's still he's still too young for me and he's not quite ready for me. But I think he's a good young talent and I think a 70 rating would be quite fair. Don't think he'll lose. From his loan performances alone this season, like he deserves to go up anyway. So I reckon 70 rating uh, would be would be suitable for him. Saka, what a player he's been. Probably Martinelli aside, I'm going to say he's our best young talent. Yeah, Mar Martinelli aside, I mean, it's kind of forgetting Tierney, but Tierney's already sort of. For me, Tierney's already solidified himself as like a, fir a first team player, whereas like you've got Saka and Martinelli who are trying to challenge to get into the first team. Um, 65 rating, he's got to get a 70 odd rating. He's, I reckon, put him up to a 75 rating easily. Give him a plus 10 on that. Absolutely, absolutely. Then we've got Big Sayad. Um, Kalazanat, I, I think personally, 79 might be a bit generous. He shouldn't be higher rated than Tierney. I will say that. He shouldn't be a higher rated player than Tierney. Um, I reckon maybe put him on a 78 or... Mm, I don't know. We'll see what rating Tierney gets. And I think maybe Kalazanat should get maybe two ratings below that. But Tierney's not a 76, so I'm not going to say that he should be a 74. I reckon give Tierney an 80, give Kalazanak a, a 78, maybe a 77. I think that would be round about fair enough. Anyway, that has wrapped up Arsenal for me, guys. Uh, leave in the comments down below and also get at me on Twitter and tell me what team you want me to uh, predict next. Now, with the Arsenal team, I watch this team week in, week out, so I've been able to give an opinion without looking at any stats on other teams i will go and look at stats from this season and i will purely be judging off this season like not not previous seasons or anything this season that is what i'm trying to go off okay uh like i say leave in the comments or uh get at me on twitter same name as uh, as my youtube name um so you can find me on there and let me know 
crew you want to see the next one of these on. I'm going to render this, whack this up as a video, and then I'll be starting a stream as well at some point today. A video and a stream from me today, guys. We are just pushing out the content right now. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's good. Anyway, have a good weekend. And uh, hopefully I'll see some of you in the stream. If it is that you haven't already subscribed, by the way, please hit that sub button. We surpassed 2.4k. Road uh, to 2.5k is now go. So let's take us there. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later.